like I would say all of our problems are more than this. And I'd also throw out that it's not even liberal versus or like Republican versus Democrat. Cause mm -hmm. what's like Ben Shapiro facts don't care about your feelings. Like that to me is also like, sure, but it's, it's close. It's close to that whole, like, you know, we can't have opinions on morality. It's not quite there, but it, you know, it, it rings of it. So it's, it's not, mm -hmm. I think it's kind of like, it's on both sides. There, there is no clear in this current kind of conservative muddying of the waters we're in or conservative civil war that we're in right now there are people on the conservative side who are wrong or who have worse ideas. Oh yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I always wonder, like the facts don't care about your feelings thing. I, I mean, I don't know that much about Ben Shapiro. Obviously I've heard that line. Like everyone's heard that line. It's a pain. I hate the line. Uh, My response is, I've never really tried to like parse it out. Yeah. <laughs> I've never really tried to parse it out. But it's like, it just seems to me as like a deeply unserious representative of a deeply unserious take on the world, yeah. which I don't think, I don't know that Ben Shapiro is is unserious. I think he probably is yeah, he's a serious person in many yeah. ways. Uh, but it's just uh, because it's like, what is a fact? Like that's, right. that's Another the, great um, that's the problem is that. Also um, what's a feeling if you want to get like, you know, we're we talking yeah. like intuition we're talking about like i'm crying because you know it's i don't know and it, like, yeah. it's, it's a yeah. slogan let's not give it too much weight i doubt it's like <laughs> i don't think it's the thesis he runs his life by. i hope not anyways uh but it is interesting that that's the marketing slogan he went with because it does to me it feels very much like in this house we believe in science right we, we don't yeah. care what, yeah we don't care it's about like the right-wing version of science that. yeah, yeah. So yeah. it, what it's also like an appropriation of like an implicitly, I feel like I use that word a lot implicitly. Um, good word. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's like an appropriation of a kind of progressive technocratic view of things. Yeah. It's like, well, if you could get all the facts right and the people who are like neutral and, yeah. uh, and, and, and dispassionate, right. then, we, then we could get stuff done. It's That's the not problem true. Is, yeah, it's yeah. not true the referee. The referee doesn't even play yeah. the game. The referee is just there, right? If you want to win, right. you can be the referee. Like, I, I, like right. uh, so... So it's a it's like this progressive technocratic expertise it is very, kind of view yeah. of things, right? It, and, and another thing is just like also that feelings are way more important than facts most Thank of you. the time. Yeah, <laughs> like, I work in marketing. I can assure you, there's like no one's <laughs> no one's making fact based fact based slogans. Feelings sell. Feelings yeah. get things crossed. You know, crowds don't think in facts; they think in feelings. But also feelings are, I would say, in uh, in some important way, more true than facts. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like, so an example like Rousseau uses is, uh, you know, he talks about, um, he has this essay called, I think, like, On Truth and Lying sure. in an Extra Moral Sense or something. Mm -hmm. That might be somebody else, actually. But he has something about this, like, on lying or on truth and lying. Okay. And he talks about, like, you know, just trivial facts, like, you know, what color is the sand on the bottom of the ocean or whatever it's like what is more needful to you to like know that or to like have your feelings correct like have sure. your passions aligned with like what they should be or not right right um and so i'm not going so far as to say like you know it sounds like, like you uh, endorse rousseau on everything he believes and that you, that's right favorite. No, yeah. i love yeah. rousseau rousseau's yeah. great but yeah. I, i'm not going so far as to you know that i don't feel like maybe it's a babylon uh, be like mockery of the onion or like of Snopes, but like, you know, like factually incorrect, but morally true. Right. But there are things like that. Sure. Uh, that's like the facts are kind of insignificant, right? I mean, it's like a lot of this fact checking stuff will like, will sometimes be like, you know, if, if somebody said like, um, you know, like every single president, like I remember one of them was like every single Republican president, like since like, you know, Eisenhower has been impeached. You know, and like, uh, and like Snopes will be like mostly false, like yeah, because only five out of six. <laughs> yeah, it's like, is that mostly? Yeah, uh, it's like like you really can't have a fact. I mean, you could say like this: that's not literally true if one of the six hasn't. But uh, so much, so many, so many claims are not subject to fact checking. Right, but they're just not of that order of thing. Like if I tell you, like, the, you know, the American regime is um, 
dedicated to equality. Sure. And fundamentally dedicated. Like, yeah. What does that mean? Like, yeah, I can right. look to the declaration and say, right. like, you know, all men are created equal, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but like, is that the foundational document? Like, you have to make a claim about this. You have to make an argument about this. And it's, it's at some level, you have to make a judgment. Right. Well, that's based the thing. on other facts. things. Facts have it's not no a fact. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's, it's like, uh, I feel this way about like immigration. I'm very uh, agnostic on immigration. I don't really have strong feelings about it. And it's like, oh, you should though. I mean, I, I see like you can, <laughs> I get it. Like I, it's, it's just not for whatever reason, it just doesn't, I'm not passionate about it, but like, well, can, yeah, I, I want, can I tell a story about this, but after you finish. Sure. Well, I guess my point is like the fact of immigration is that it puts downward pressure on low skill wages. Like if you want to, like that is a fact, right? It, it increases the su supply of low skill workers. Mm -hmm. uh, is that a good thing or a bad thing? What do we want to do about it? None of those have to, do, none of those questions have to do with facts. It's like, oh, it's yeah, I agree with you. So that, I yeah. guess that's kind of my it's thing. A, I agree with you. It's a, it's, and this is a, um, this is a prudential question that, uh, you know, the, the American people as the sovereign technically of the nation yeah. through their elected representatives like need to decide but like the the left but increasingly just like the left and the right just mm -hmm. act like this is not something that you can even ask questions about sure. right but they don't even have any principle to apply in the other direction mm -hmm. right it's not like there's some like they like everyone knows that this is a principle of prudence like how many people to admit what right. people of what kind from what countries right. yeah. but like but nobody is even willing to even discuss what the what the considerations would be like that's sure. how diseased we are uh politically and intellectually as a country that we can't right. even like have that conversation but like but people have attempted so i want to tell the story about like i was at this uh i did this adam smith fellowship with the mercatus center which is at george mason so talking about libertarian economics right it's very libertarian over there yeah but austrian, and, uh, austrian economics right. yeah and you'd think like oh these people are conservatives like they're not conservative. Yeah, like, questionable. <laughs> they're not conservative. No, like I remember, yeah, people, which not is... even close. Like there are a couple of conservatives that I met. Yeah, but uh, but I remember like a, it was like an informal conversation. It wasn't one of the seminars, but people were talking about immigration, and they're like, you know, basically their position was like everyone at the table. Like I was the only one who even, you know, yeah. differed from this. And it was they basically the argument was like, what right does anyone have to restrict anyone's right. freedom of movement? It's like you don't understand what a nation is. Like, yes. You don't understand what right. defines a nation. Like you and like somebody like Trump says just like very clearly, like if you don't have a border, you don't have a country. That's fair. Yeah. And I just like it. it's like anything else that follows from that, like any other policy that he prescribes, any way he talks, you know, some of them I assume are good people, like any of that other stuff, like you can talk about. But like yeah. you can't deny that that's true. And the reason right. and people see to hear that and are like, yes, he he at least is willing to say that. Is anyone yeah. else willing to say that? Yeah. No, I agree. That that's partially why I'm agnostic. I'm all, I've always just been like, we're a country. We have the right to defend our border. Like it's right. it's like it's implicit. Like it's it's part like. If you don't, what are like? What are you? You're just a throwaway, like uh, so. You know, it to me, it's always right. Like, well, if you just like what? to vision it from this like sort of libertarian view, which I don't right. think well, it's really authentically libertarian, but like not. somehow that like you're just deciding and drawing lines for the whole sure. nation. I mean, well, like I will, I will, I will take any kind of like Burkean, Kirkian, like crunchy historic, sure. like whatever, over that. Right. Well, <laughs> like, the thing is that uh, they're a lot of libertarian libertarianism is based on anarchy right mm -hmm. so they don't appreciate the nation state like it's like yeah. we don't even need it we could just have you know local principalities you can just travel like uh they don't necessarily believe in a social contract which i'm partial to but and it's like you should be able to pick where you want to live so you can pick what laws you want to live under which is nice but it's also semi-utopian and not just utopian for a country but utopian for the world it's just like the drop down menu like philosophy yeah. of how politics works yes it's not like it's it's fun to play around with those kind of games but it's it's not right. really pragmatic and i kind of like i was a libertarian too at one point yeah it's fun to be a libertarian mm -hmm. it's great you you get to have out, outrage people you know? I ran, I ran the like the the mock campaign for in my high school for Harry Brown. Wow, Harry Brown's actually a, like a decent libertarian, like good dude. It's oh like, yeah, I don't even know that anymore. I, 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 I kept uh, up. Yeah, I've been kept up on my Harry Brown studies. Yeah, it's been my uh, experience that libertarians come in like two flavors: uh, just absolute like hedonist, nihilist, scum of the earth. I just want to do anything I want, people, and then there's just kind of like 
kind of normal folks who just hate the government. Like, it, it, like it, it, they're, I don't know. And they tend to be more conservative. Mm. But uh, Reason and a lot of the think tank ones uh, like to hire the scum of the earth ones uh, is my take.